welcome back to my channel and welcome to another study with me. This one is a 12 hour edition. I just want to state that I don't do this every time. I did it by accident today because I had so much to do. This video is also a collab with Melly. I will leave her links in the description box so make sure to go and check her out once you've watched my video. So the first thing I did this morning was have a shower and then I made myself some Nutella on toast. I usually have something like toast in the morning when I'm having a study day just because it gives me a lot more energy. So while I was eating my breakfast I decided to do my to-do list so I didn't waste time because I knew I had so so much to do today. Throughout the day my to-do list did change just because of how much I thought I would be able to get done. To make my to-do list I used this chrome add-on called Momentum. Loads of people use this and it's so so useful and I will leave a link down below if I can. I turned my phone off because that is my biggest distraction. So the first thing I did was begin annotating and highlighting highlighting my history specification. If you're wondering, I'm on AQA 9 to 1 history. So I began working at 9.20 and did this for around 10 minutes. So after that, I realized that I didn't actually have any music on and I always have music on when I'm revising. So I put on my musical playlist. I'm currently addicted to the Greatest Showman soundtrack. I honestly love it. If you haven't heard it, links down below, go check it out, it's amazing. So it was now around 9.30, so for the next 15 minutes I decided to do some business. So I just went through this table which is just important keywords for our case study and obviously the definitions for them. So I was going through and just highlighting the important points, things that related to my case study, etc. Once I had finished that, I decided to tick it off my list and then I moved on to doing the longest task of the day. This took me 3 hours from 9.45 until 12.45. So I study DNA by Dennis Kelly for both English and drama, but today I was doing work for English. Basically I was reading through my annotated version of the book and then transferring key quotes, key themes, anything that I think is quite relevant and that I could include in an essay point. I put Put into this document and basically it's something that I can look back on and whenever I am making essay plans later or closer to exams I will make sure that I can go back to this document so I wanted to make it as thorough as I could which is why it took so long this I had a break. I don't know where the footage of my break went but basically I watched two episodes of Friends and ate my lunch. So I'm not sure where the first clip of this went but basically I was just typing up as many quotes as I could remember from DNA by Dennis Kelly which I had done the previous task on. So basically I typed them all up and then printed it off and corrected it. I was pretty harsh on myself if I missed a comma or anything I marked it wrong because I know that it's best to be harsh rather than too lenient especially because the exams are getting harder to get the high marks. Once I'd finished doing the corrections for my DNA memory quote list, I moved on to do the corrections for my mock paper for chemistry. So 
once I'd finished chemistry I moved on to do some physics and basically I was just doing my notes for P5. I was using two textbooks, my class book, a bit of the internet at times. So basically I was just trying to come up with the most efficient notes that I could. to transfer my P5 notes to a Quizlet form because I find Quizlet really really useful especially for things like science so that's what I did and then I also did the same for B6. did was individuals notes and this was on William Harvey who is a significant person in medicine so I was just writing up notes because I was going to transfer them to a mind map later which you will see in a minute. My brother bought me up some chocolate, I just thought I'd state that before people wonder what that was. And then I moved on to doing my mind map, so I used the Mild Liner in this green shade and the Papermate Comfort Mate Ultra Pen.
I'd finished doing this William Harvey mind map, I moved on to do a memory mind map of Pare, who is another individual in medicine, which is one of my GCC history topics. So basically I had made a mind map previously on this individual and so I was going through and just seeing what I could remember and then I compared it to the original mind map afterwards. I wrote in blue anything that I either forgot or slightly got wrong. It was now 9pm and the final thing I had on my list for today was to do notes on Climb My Grandfather and I just annotated the poem. I was going to do notes as well but I realised that I probably should have a break so I just wrote the title and just annotated language, structure and form. So this is the end of this study with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'd really appreciate it if you stuck around. Anyway, I will see you soon with another video. Bye!